Welcome to Mid American Money. This is the investment corner of Mid American Money. Each month we, we have an a individual from our portfolio practicum class at Creighton University and we're joined by Chris Franz and he's going to talk about what they're buying, what they're selling, what they're, how they see the market. Now this is, well you tell, tell us Chris about the portfolio practicum. Sure, so like we kind of talked about in the past, uh -huh. this is a group of Creighton students, 16 okay. strong, we manage it. U.S. equity portfolio of over four million dollars. Four million bucks. So, what's the latest on the buying and selling uh, agenda? Sure. Well, right now, what we've done is we've looked at last year's portfolio uh -huh. and we've looked at the price targets that last year's class okay. set, comparing them to the current market prices, and we've identified actually two companies that we were talking about actually selling to book the revenue. Okay. Well, don't don't hold us in suspense. What are they? Sure. Well, the first company is Vodafone. Okay. Vodafone. And the second company is Whirlpool. They have both reached what we call there are intrinsic price values. And, and that's generally a price earnings ratio maybe? That combination of that dividend discount model, okay. free cash flow to equity, we use a, a multitude of uh, okay. valuations. Okay, and and uh, you're not didn't, not really buying anything right now, are you? Is no, it? not really. Like I said, we're really kind of focusing on what we have yeah. and what's done well. And folks, from my angle, from an economist angle, not a financial expert, investment advisor, uh, as I say, if if, uh, if uh, Mr. Buffett will quit giving public policy advice, I'll quit giving investment advice. But he keeps doing it, and I'll keep doing it too. And what I'm I'm recommending is I'm, I'm I think stocks are pretty well priced, at least for the risk. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about we you and I talked earlier about the fiscal cliff, sure. and that that of course is the record tax increase and spending cuts for January first. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's priced into the. I think perfection is priced in right now. Sure. I think we could have a blow up. Here. I agree that the worst case scenario for the fiscal cliff hasn't been priced in the hasn't market and if that price. happens who knows what's going to happen to equities and I'm so on the, in terms of my cash position I'm I'm, I'm not all cash mm -hmm. but I am much more cash than I was before mm -hmm. are you think that's what do you think for the folks out there watching this well I don't think that's a bad idea especially with all the uncertainty you have the election coming up you have like we said the fiscal cliff a and lot is happening. Europe, right uh, we talked in our previous segment, it's not been settled. Anybody who thinks Europe has been settled is, uh, I think, dreaming, but mm -hmm. well, that's not so bad, I mm -hmm. guess, if you want to live in la la land. But you watch, and again, back to my point in the last segment, watch out for Spanish bonds, the 10 year yield up to 7%. That's a real problem. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Chris. Sure. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Thanks for providing what's coming out of the portfolio practicum. And thanks to all of you for joining us for the investment investment corner and we've been joined by Chris Franz with the portfolio practicum class uh, at Creighton University and they, I think there's some they, we get some great advice out of them and thanks for joining us until next time may your economic cup runneth over